I think one of the top challenges facing retailers in the industry in particular is this trend towards restricting access to so-called weight loss and muscle building supplements. And in fact, New York just became the first state in the country to enact one of these laws. And make no mistake about it, uh, it's a bad law. It's a bad law for retailers, for consumers, and for the industry as a whole. And my concern is that it, it won't stop at New York, that we have other mm -hmm. states that will follow suit. Um, the laws are bad for a few reasons. First, just philosophically, they stigmatize all of us. It's ironic that we live in a country where millions of people are dying and getting sick from diseases of inactivity, uh, not exercising enough, not getting enough activity in your life. Yet we have lawmakers who are stigmatizing people who want access to products that help them be more active and be more healthy. People shouldn't be stigmatized or punished for that. If anything, lawmakers should be encouraging that type of behavior. Sure. Second, the laws are bad because they don't have a scientific basis. Lawmakers are acting on a theory that there's some relationship between disordered eating among teens and dietary supplements. But there's no evidence of that. It's just pure politics and it's, it's hurting everyone as a result. And third, they're bad for a whole host of practical reasons. They're inconvenient. So if you are a supplement customer in New York going forward, uh, you can't just stop into your local vitamin shop store. You need to make sure you have your ID on you. Because if you look younger than, let's say, 30 years old, you might be carded when trying to buy your supplements. Um, and if you are ordering product to come to your home in New York, regardless of your age, you're going to have to make sure that you're home to sign for that package and that you show your ID to the delivery driver. So that is obviously a hassle sure. that nobody wants to deal with. And that's not limited to your age. That's regardless of your age, you're going to have to go through that process. Um, and the laws are expensive, right? So shipping via a method that requires signature and proof of uh, age is more expensive and consumers are going to have to pay that. And then finally, they're, they're bad because they're not clear about what's covered. The law doesn't actually tell you which specific products are covered. It only says products that are marketed or labeled for weight loss or muscle building. So retailers are going to have to figure out for themselves what that means. Um, and there's going to be inconsistencies from store to store, which will make the marketplace confusing for consumers. Yeah, those are some real challenges for sure, Carlos. Thanks for outlining those.